every time we talk about mental health, um, what comes into our mind is a mental institution, someone who is crazy. I think we take it uh, beyond what we, I mean, what we, what we see um, crazy people on the streets, um, crazy mental institutions. But I think it's time now we as this generation of today redefined how we look at mental health. Because in my journey, looking back at uh, how I've come through my, my, um, my life, childhood was quite exciting. Um, living in childhood, we all say that growing up is a scam. We had a lot of play, play, play time. We had less to think about. And so when I think of my childhood, I'm quite excited. Um, where, should I, where should I look? Here, yeah, it's just okay. You're just doing fine. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then later when I think about my childhood, I'm yeah. just excited. <laughs> when I think about my childhood, it's full of excitement, play time, um, all this love from your parents. And, and you really don't know rich or poor. You don't know success and failure at that time. It's all about living your childhood. That was quite exciting. So now the drama starts coming in or started coming in for me in my teenage. So in my teenage, you go to high school. Um, now there you see the difference in, in, in class, in, in, in rich and poor, in humble, difficult and successful. And that, that's where you see the differences between us and them. And then now you begin to start processing that. Why is it that this is good for them and not good for me? and all that. So that gives you that, that energy of, of negativity, of, of, um, of, of just thinking about yourself. What, are you, what am I and, and what can I do for, for myself to make myself better? And how can I become like them, you know? Or how can I just f create my own niche? It's a lot that comes at, at teenage. And when in high school, that's when you, you are at loggerheads with your mother, was, at loggerheads with mom all the time. I want to go out, she wouldn't let me. Um, I want to go for parties, she wouldn't let me. I think she. I think at that time she was she was my, my biggest enemy. And school, here is school with so many regulations. I was very clumsy in school, very naughty. And um, it's all about challenging the status quo. And it, it came at a very young age for me. And I kept on wondering, why must we do it like this? Why can't we do it differently? And for me, school looked like a prison. Why are we staying in school for too long? And even one time in school, we, we, had, to, we had to go out of our way to demonstrate, to get, um, to get midterms, midterm breaks, because we never used to have them. So that agility kicks in in high school more than it did ever in my life before. And that's when now I'm thinking more about exactly what do I want to become. And at this stage, if you're not careful, if in primary school you wanted to become a doctor and you go to high school and you're in Form 3, you'll now go down to maybe becoming just an administrator in that hospital. And so if you're not careful and you don't get proper mentorship and you don't speak out, that really... Um, that really can pull you down. And then again, what I would want to be grateful, uh, what I'm grateful for is that um, our school had this system of, of this system of, 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 having, um, of having prayer sessions, spiritual growth, spiritual nourishment. I think really that laid a lot of, uh, that laid the foundation for me. I got to, um, I got to see God, know that he also has a stake in my life. Um, know that I need him to overcome some challenges, I mean challenges in this world and in what I was going through. I could pray to him for a better future because, I was, because I'm from a humble background and um, that I also battled with a lot. I wanted a better life. I wanted a better life for myself and my family. I mean, that also in a good way made me, I mean, work extra hard in school, try and stay focused. But a lot was really going through my head. But I am really grateful to that um, um, spiritual mentorship that we had in school and that really laid. Even today, I still linger on to that when I am faced with, with, with challenges. I mean, we all have this every other time or every other, every other place we go. 
and as life moves on that's when we realize that it's it's really never beyond you and once you look back you look back and see how many mountains you've climbed how many challenges you've, you've overcome and you actually get to believe in yourself even more and stronger and just keep yourself alive for the next opportunities that are coming so going into the university here is where i just want to be everywhere i want to 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 exploit every opportunity i get um, that, 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 that pushed me into now getting into student leadership and, and serving um, the students of the University of Nairobi. That in itself also came with its challenges. Uh, leadership was a new aspect for me. I, 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 I didn't know much. I was now learning. I was learning from on the job. Uh, it excited me in one way, but again it could also give me a lot of pressure because I didn't know how to navigate. Um, I kept on feeling that I should step aside, maybe focus on a more humble, more silent life. But again, now at the university here is when um, you don't get that straightforward mentorship that you get when you're in high school. So here you have to create that space for yourself. And um, you, with my friends, we try to create that space, talk to each other, encourage each other. Those are your first mentors, you, those are your first biggest fans when you're outside in that space. And that really went on, that went on well. And then again, what now comes back into your mind is, yes, now you've come to the university, you're all the same, you all have equal opportunities, you have equal challenges to face, all of you are put in a, in a, in a, in a same plate. So it's up to you now to take yourself to the next level. So that again, battled with me more in uh, what should I do with myself, what should I, how, how can I improve my, my skills, how can I um, be better because now when you're all the same you also have to find your niche and create it. So that also really took a toll on me before I could decide um, whether I really wanted to get into more of politics, whether I wanted to get into a career, whether I wanted to get into banking when I was doing my um, because I went the extra mile, I, did, I, I worked on my CPA, which I wanted to be, to be comfortable with not just a degree, but something extra. So there's that sense of insecurity in your heart. So you want to, to feel comfortable with what you have. I mean, that is one of the reasons why, why I, I did most of the things I did. They kept me uh, alive. They, I did not lose sleep. Um, I mean, I, I, would not, I, would, I would lose sleep at night because of such things. And those are challenges, but if they are not properly managed, they can get out of hand. And one of the ways that I, that I, that I maneuvered through these systems was to talk, to talk to people, talk to friends, because that's when I got to see that these challenges have been faced even worse by other people, and that I was even more equal to the task than ever before. That's how, it's all about confidence, being confident in yourself, uh, not looking back because um, the present and the past usually are, they are, they are gone, they are done, they are dusted. It is the future, it is what you want um, to, to actualize with yourself. So um, going through mental health journey is, is quite something. Even today, I still battle um, the issues of self-actualization, self-appreciation, I mean, um, like when I was, um, when, I, when I had to work in West Africa, uh, in Ghana, and now we had the pandemic, I was really, I was really scared because um, I was away from everyone. Everyone is isolating. I'm away from home. It felt so alone at some point. And then that is when you have so many thoughts in your head about what will happen to me when I go back home. Will I still have my vibrant network there for me to tap into and to keep going? Will I really have a, a, a future? What is in it for me in this space? Um, we are complaining about unemployment. We are complaining about um, insufficient opportunities. And really that, that can get into my head. And, and it's all workable. That is what I would want to tell someone, that it's all workable. Just take one day at a time, talk to someone, talk to people. Don't isolate yourself too much because um, it's, it's, it's quite okay not to be okay. And it's okay, it's all right to seek help. You need to seek help, you need to talk to someone, you need to talk to a friend, and even yourself. Um, we can always vibrate in a certain way and you can vib vibrate in a highly positive way for someone else. 
and I would strongly encourage for you to be your peer counselor, your peer support system to someone else because we need that immediately. Even before we talk about um, mental institutions, uh, counselors, psychiatrists, psychologists, your friend, your mentor. As an individual, you have to think about the kind of company you keep and the kind of people who um, bring out um, the best in you is what you should focus on the most. Because um, it all boils down to self, self-respect, self-actualization, self-confidence. And if you're confident enough and if you keep um, associating yourself with people that bring the best out of you, that will drive you to places you have not seen before. And I'm quite excited with um, the National Youth Council, um, Saudi Avijana, trying to echo that silence that we have been in of mental health, um, committing suicide, um, thinking about the pressures of, of, of our today's um, economy and situ social and political spaces that are really affecting how we are, we are, we are, uh, we are navigating our lives. And um, thinking of a, a safe space called Faraja to, 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 to louder our voices on mental health and what we think. And that's why I'm doing this, supporting this initiative, because we are all going through something. When the, when the cameras are not rolling, when the, when the cameras are shut, when the curtains are drawn down, we are left to ourselves and there are things we go through. And if they are not unique to you, they are not, um, they are not unique to just you and your family or you and your friends. So I would encourage you to be a support system for someone else. I would encourage you to vibrate positive energy to, for someone else because everyone is going through a hard time. So be kind. And it is okay not to be okay. So seek help. Um, it is doable. Others have gone through it. More and more, have, more, and more, more will go through it to come. And so you're not alone in this world. Uh, let's be our brother's keeper. And let it not be a gospel that we do not want to actualize. Let us be there for one another because that is one way I have found to keep myself sustained in whatever I do. Thank you.